rolling. We're rolling. You're rocking. Rocking yes, indeed. I'm talking. Anyways, we are back. We are back. Both oh, of us. Holy smackers, it's been a while. It has been a while. I haven't been here in two weeks because I was sick as a dog for two weeks. There was no show last week because you were away. I was away. And I said, hey, Seth, do you want to run the show on your own? And he's like, meh. And I was like, oh, come on, Seth. But he didn't do it. So, and where is he today? Is he here? I nope. I Apparently he has a job Seth? or something. Seth? No, he's nah. gone. Anyway, so we've decided to uh, also we changed studios. Now this happened actually in the last show that you and uh, you and Seth did together. But uh, I, I kind of like it. We are shooting from home now instead of from uh, instead of from a studio. You yeah. get it? Oculus Home. What? <laughs> Anyways, that's a funny joke. That was the funniest joke I've ever. What do you think of my fresh kicks? Uh, those are very fresh. They and are and very kicks. They're very and they're and they're they're bright and colorful and they make me look sporty. Yeah, they make you look like cool kids. Which kind of draws attention away from my unsporty gut. Yes, indeed. I was going to mention your sporty sporty gut. <laughs> Were you going to mention my sporty gut? Yeah, I was. Yeah, okay, good. Sporty gut. You're, you're supposed to ask me a question. Uh, oh, am I? Yeah. What question? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm just hurt. Okay. Tell me the question and I'll ask it. I'm not going to tell you the question. All right, fine. Whatever. Should we talk about video games then? No. No? Oh, right. Why are you wearing a dress? <laughs> <laughs> because this is the outfit that people wear when they're planning a Game of Thrones festival. Oh, are you planning a Game of Thrones festival now? Did I say that? Did you? Whoops. Oh. Okay. Maybe we should talk about video games. Maybe we should talk about video games. That was a very, that was very subtle. It's very Just subtle. That in there. <laughs> All right. So uh, I guess uh, we're going to talk about these video games in no particular order. So let's Not start the with, order. <laughs> let's, let's go with the order that's on the board. Then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, first game up. It's the newest game. Just came out uh, yesterday. Today's Thursday. Sure. Maybe it just came out today. Is today Thursday or is it Friday? I can't remember. It came out yesterday or or well when they're watching. We're taping on Thursday. Don't tell them that. Thursday. Yeah. This isn't live. What? Surprisingly enough. Oh my god. Um, but anyway, listen to him. It's totally live. <laughs> So, Battlezone. Yes. Came out yesterday or today. I can't remember. My days all just kind of meld together. Probably came out tomorrow, but go on. (laughs) Okay. So, uh, Battlezone is a tank game that originally first appeared on PSVR. It was a PSVR exclusive, and it came over to Oculus Rift and um, the HTC Vive. And what did you think? Well, I... Let's see. Well, I'll tell you what you think because you told me what you thought. All right. Initially, your initial impression was that you were less than impressed. That's true. That was your initial impression. And then we jumped online and we played together. Yes. And I was at home and you were here and we played a few rounds there. What, did, did, it, did it improve for you at that point? I, I enjoyed the fact that I didn't feel totally incompetent when I was able to use the lock-on uh, rockets and the heavy tank. Right. The light tank I found to be annoying. Um, I needed to, when I first started playing it, I needed to invert my controller. Yeah. And I couldn't really figure that out very easily. Really? So I'm a little inept. Okay. And, uh... For those, for those of you watching at home, to do that, you go into options, controls, and select invert what? controller. What? <laughs> Anyways. That's crazy talk. Yeah, because I had to uninvert it. Because, anyway, long story, but whatever. Yeah, it is a I long used to play story. I used, and to, I, pl- I used to play. In, I used to play inverted controls, and then oh, stop it! <laughs> and then when I was uh, with, with playing with Jared Corpan, video games, playing with him, and we passed Jared controllers back Corpan. and forth, passed the controller back and forth. What a and joker! He didn't play with inverted controls, so I had to learn how to play that way, or else reinvert them every time, and that was a pain. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll just figure it out. But I couldn't go back once I'd switched. It was. It was. What was that? Excuse me. <laughs> um, anyways, let's get back to the game. Battlezone. I loved it. I think Battlezone is great. I was involved in the beta. I actually got, um, they had a little, um, it wasn't an open beta, I guess it was a closed beta, but um, I applied for it ages and ages ago. And then just like two weeks ago or something like that, I got an email saying that they decided to let more people into the beta so I could go in. So I got in and I and I played like one 
game, maybe for an hour or something, not even. And then the next day I got sick and I was sick for like two weeks. <laughs> And, and Seth basically carried the entire operation. He campaign. did. He did. Seth. Thank you, Seth. Seth. Yes, thanks, Seth. We'll ha we'll have to reward you somehow with uh, thumbs up and and thank yous. Yeah, that's all we're going to give you. Just uh, one thumbs up, apparently. Darryl's but anyway, the point is not going to bother. Oh, sorry. There you go. You could have two for me. But anyway, the point of the matter is, is I didn't get to play it, and I was really upset, and I was like, oh great, how long am I going to have to wait before I have to play it again? But here it is. It's out, and it's ready to go. And I loved the game. I just think it's great. Um, if you're someone who gets uh, motion sick easy in VR, the beginning sequence, just close your eyes. You talk about when they launch you? Yeah, when they launch you, yeah. yeah. I'm surprised. Why would you find that more I don't know. queasy making than... I would think because... I think we should invite someone who understands that sort of thing on the air and you can ask them the question. Maybe we should. Maybe we should. I don't know if there is anybody because like everybody's affected differently, right? Like some people... Some people like uh, like Rand, for instance. Yep. Um, Rand is a guy around the station. Yeah, Rand one, one L. Thor. Yeah. He's a Dragon Reborn. <clears throat> he gets sick just from like looking around in VR, right? Um, whereas I can do almost anything in VR and not get sick. You're pretty good most of the time, but every once in a while you just get like this random holy crap it's, uh, and feel sick. It's, like quick motions, like jerky motions. Yeah, which is why I thought it was weird about the intro sequence making you sick because it's kind of very slow moving, um, and then yeah, you well get out there and you're a lot faster. When you, you first launch, you kind of you go quickly, and then the robot slows you down, and then really? you go up. Yep. I don't remember going quickly at the beginning, but yeah, right anyways, when you initially launch. Basically, if you're really prone to sickness, then probably the whole game is going to be kind of hard for you, I would think, because uh, yeah. like it basically has proper controls as you would expect in a first person shooter game like you can strafe r rotate yeah. honestly none um, of that bothered me I was strafing and rotating it, well, none of it bothers me either and I wish every game would do that but there's a lot of people out there who do get sick from that kind of thing and uh, and uh, they probably yeah I think when I control it it's not so bad what's I that I think that's what it is when I control it it doesn't bother me oh yeah because I could predict the movement right. but yeah um it's too bad that's not a demo because it's really a game where, like, you can't spend. I guess, I guess, if you're gonna, if you're not sure, buy it on Steam because you can get a refund if you get sick, right? Um, but, but, it's definitely worth it if you can, if you can stomach the game. It's, it's a really good game. I love it. I love it to death, especially if you're playing with people. Yeah, yeah, I, I did enjoy the multiplayer. The multiplayer was really good. Yeah, I guess, I guess, without without somebody else, like a friend there, it might not be as fun. Yeah. But. Um, yeah. But no, because I, I played it by myself when I did the hour in the beta and I and I still really liked it. That's right. why I was so mad that it was over by yeah. the time I was For feeling the well playing it. The price? I didn't I didn't even come close to enjoying it that much. Yeah. Move that decimal over and I'll be okay. Uh oh my goodness. Okay, so the price <laughs> is thirty nine oh nine right now. That's Canadian dollars for anybody watching somewhere else. Thirty nine oh nine and um it's fifteen percent off as well. So it's actually more than that, usually probably forty five bucks. Um, it's probably a fairly lengthy game. There's three different campaign lengths. There's short, medium, and long. And, and as you saw, uh, each section takes probably like five minutes to play. And like the, the map is laid out in hexagons. And so you, you gotta make your way through and destroy stuff. And I think probably even the short campaign would have taken, if we did the whole thing, probably at least an hour. Yeah. At oh yeah. Least. Like I think time-wise, it'd probably be fine, but it'd be the repetition of doing the same thing over and over again that would. Yeah, but you're unlocking new weapons and new tanks and stuff as you go and stuff like that. Yeah. It keeps things interesting. The levels change too, like the environments and stuff. So I don't know. Yeah. I I th I think, you know, thirty nine forty five dollars might be a bit high even for me, but I mean you you can't get too much lower than that. And it is it is a proper full game, right? It's not one of these demos, kind of extended demos that right. you tend to get with VR, right? So um, one thing I did notice about it, and this is sort of not even related to how the game plays or anything like that, but for the recording of it, um, it actually, and this was the same thing that happened with Batman Arkham Asylum, it did that really narrow uh, screen grab thing. Oh, weird. Um, so, which Batman also came over from PSVR. Hmm. So Battlezone and Batman came from PSVR and they had that narrow thing. So it must be something to do with the way that they, uh, 
program it to show up on the on the screen yeah, with the PlayStation. But anyway, all right, let's uh, move on then. We uh, we should leave the next one unspoken. We'll leave the next one unspoken. All right. I don't know where else to go from that. So <laughs> unspoken. Um, this game didn't. This game isn't new. This has been out for a while. Um, but but I just noticed it on Facebook ads, and I said, "Hey, Daryl, I noticed this game on Facebook ads. Can we do this game?" Yeah, he totally wanted to play it, so I was like, Super "Dude, fun. I'm down." Right? Because I, I I played it again. I went through the tutorial, and I think I played one match online, and then that was all I got around to doing. So. Um, so when you said you wanted to play it, I was like, yeah, cool, let's do that. And it just had a big update, too, uh, called the Arcane Update. It added some new content. I think I think new stages. Um, there's, like, different cloaks you can get that are involved with the tournament, because there's a tournament going on. This is probably mm -hmm. why you saw it. There's going to be a big tournament at Microsoft stores. Um, and, uh, and, and then there's a bunch of tweaks. Some of the characters, like some of their spells, got changed a little bit and stuff like that. But like uh, the cult was a. I wonder if the tentacles of Cthulhu were changed. I don't know. Daryl likes that one. I actually, I actually don't. You know what? I honestly, initially, I was kind of like, "What the heck's going on?" Um, because I didn't realize that you had different spells than me at first. I'm like, "How are you doing that?" And I was trying to figure out how to do it. Right? Yeah. Um, because. I didn't realize, because you were playing here, and again, I was at home, so I had just downloaded it. I was playing a brand new game, yep. and obviously somebody's been playing That's it why Daryl kept losing. Some, some, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so, but somebody's been playing here, and so you had a whole bunch of stuff that I didn't have. But anyways, um, I found out later, and I didn't tell you that I found this out, but I can just throw a fireball at the Cthulhu's, and they die, and I can teleport there. <laughs> why, would you, why would you kill my Cthulhu tentacles? That's rude. Man. So that I can teleport where, they're, where they are. But anyways, so uh, for those who don't know, Unspoken is a game where it's basically a wizard dueling game, and uh, you uh, it's really cool, actually. So yeah, it uses the touch fun. controls. Um, you, you got your basic attacks, like you pull the trigger on this hand, you get a shield, pull the trigger on this hand, it makes a fireball, and then you got other ones where you raise your hands up. If they're close together like this, you form... Well, I guess it depends what yeah. spells you have chosen, but for my character... I'd hold it like this, and then it would form this skull, and then I throw it, it out like that, yeah. and it well, they all have the same. The they all have the same gestures. Do they? Yep. Okay. So anyway, so you hold it here, it does one thing. You hold your hands farther apart like this, and for me, it, it created fireworks that I then wave my hands across yep. to light the wicks. And but it was all, for all of them, it, it sent th things over. So for the telekinetic, it sent the cop cars over. Oh, I see. Um, and for the, uh, what was the third guy? It was like a so deck of the cards. Girl. Yeah, I'm trying to remember yeah. the what the name of it was. I can't remember. I don't know. But yeah, then there's a defensive one. I don't know what your defensive one was, yeah. but you cross your arms like this, and then a, and a thing fills up, and then you the, do that. The Arcanist had the, the nicest one. Yeah. The Arcane yeah, Apprentice had the best one. Yeah, I don't know who that was. Was that the it's one a, I it's was? It's the one you were, okay. yeah. Yeah. Um, the Telekinetic one sucked, and then the other one was sort of in between, but it, it created ones in multiple locations, which was kind of cool. Created multiple, multiple like uh, barriers, but it was oh, almost like a little shell. Oh, so that yeah, from, yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. I was like, I don't know what the heck that was, right? Yeah, you were able to teleport, but behind yeah. each of this. Okay, yeah. So, anyways, it's really, really cool. Um, yeah, it's a great game. It is. I just wonder though, um, how long would it stay great for though, right? Especially now that you're telling me all the moves are done the same way. I was thinking yeah. like you'd learn a whole. I don't know. I kind of feel like... Well, you unlock more stuff. It looks like, like, we obviously didn't play it long enough to yeah. really know, but you, you seems to be able to, you can unlock new spells, especially yeah. the... Uh, well, I did end up getting the... Uh, Artifacts? Yeah, well, the, the paper airplane one. Yeah, yeah, the paper airplane one is fun. A lot of them it's are fun. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah, so there's a few different things you can do. So like once I learned the impact, she stole the things from you, I, I liked it even more. Yeah, well, and then I found out I can kill it. I didn't know that either, That's right? Sad. So you killed my imp too. Yeah, oh yeah. You yeah. killed my tentacles of Cthulhu and I my kill imp? everything that you make. That's awful. Yeah, so you're a bad person. Yeah. Why do I work with you? I don't know. I don't know. But that's kind of what the game's all about, right? So yeah. Yeah. All right. So price. Price thirty four ninety nine. What does cheap Nathan think of that? Cheap Nathan hesitates. Well. Cheap Nathan says, if Cheap Nathan had uh, disposable income, I'd probably pay that. Mm -hmm. See me, I kind of, 
I don't know, because like I say, I'm not sure how long it would be fun for. I think this is the kind of game that I'd be like, play it like crazy for a weekend and then probably not play it much anymore. Because it's just, you, you teleport from pedestal to pedestal, right? So mm -hmm. it's like, it's not even, it's not even moving around a, a level really, right? Like, yeah. so, so whereas like, for instance, Call of Duty or whatever, you're running around a whole level and you learn the level layouts and there's multiple different levels yep. and stuff like that. Um, there are, of course, multiple different levels in this, but ultimately you're still just teleporting from pedestal to pedestal. So I think, I, I feel, even though at the moment I still think it's it's great, I think that that would get... You think the price tag would be a little too, high for you? Well, yeah, I think I, think I would just get bored of it a little too quickly to pay that kind of money for it. But Interesting. Yeah. But you'd pay another $5 for Battlezone. Yeah, I don't know. Battlezone, I right. don't know. It, it, fair enough. I like, I like Battlezone. You're wrong, but fair enough. Yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah, well, I usually <laughs> am, so there we go. But um, I, I don't know. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't pay that front spoke. I just say I'm, I'm hesitant. Yeah. I don't know because I, I could get bored of it. So. Yep. Fair yeah. enough. All right. So moving on from the uh, the Rift now, we're going to... Svervive. 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 I think you should just call it Survive. Obviously, they've replaced the U with a V to make it VR. Oh, really? That's what happened? Well, that's the thing to I do. I thought they just couldn't spell. That's the thing to do is to replace oh. any time you can stick VR in somewhere. Wait, you go because ahead and it's do virtual. It. Get it? Oh, what? <laughs> See what they did there? Oh, wow. Yep. Anyway, Svervive is a game that came out on, uh, it's not new either. It's been out for a while, uh, but it's like out you. on Steam. Like me, yeah, I've been out for a while as well. Happy birthday, almost. Yep, that's true. Next, no, next, well, I don't know, next week sometime. Anyway, whatever. Um, so this is one where um, I actually, I, I, I got, the, I was given a game key by the developer um, because they actually posted something about a game coming out in the future. Wait, tell, tell them why you really got the key. Apparently, Daryl was going to get the key to the city, but it was too big to mail, so they sent him this key instead. That's not even true or, or funny. Why did you say that? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, so they sent me the key. Uh, anyway, I, I, I messaged them, and I'm like, hey, your game looks great, and I've got this site and this show that I do, and... It'd be awesome to be able to play your game on the show or something on the site, right? And they're like, well, the game's not ready to give out yet, but we can give you a key for this other game that we did. And I was like, sure, let's do that, right? So uh, they said that to me. I think they sent it to me before I got sick again. So it's been sitting there waiting for me to play it for a while. Um, and I finally jumped into it. And uh, I don't know what I was expecting. I thought it was a first-person shooter for some reason. Uh, but it's really not. Yeah, really not at all. It's not at all. It's I think a, with a name um, like Survive, you're kind of expecting like zombie survival game. Yeah, right? And, and it's, it really more of, it's more escape room -y, Yeah, right? definitely escape room -y. Uh, Yeah. But I've played other escape room games that... Mostly on the Gear VR, I'll, uh, I should point that out. But I've played other escape room games that are not as good as this one is, right? Yeah. Like this one, I was I was surprised at how how good it was, because um, I kind of thought I, I don't know I don't know wh where I was getting my ideas about this game. I didn't really know anything about it, but for some reason I had it in my head that it was like a really like a sort of a low budget first person shooter um, made by like some dude on the internet, right? It was um, me. I made it. Yep, you made it. Yeah. So, but actually, no, it turned out to be quite good. Um, and and like really good graphics, like really good atmosphere. And it's it's sort of, um, it's a, it's like a puzzle game, an escape mm -hmm. game. So basically you're, you're, you're told that you have to find this thing called the Deus Helix. It's like a strand of DNA that's somehow been broken up and stored in people's basements or something like that, right? Yeah. At least the first level's a basement. And, and so you basically go into this room and you got to solve a bunch of puzzles to find this little yeah. piece of the... In the backstory, this guy lived in his parents' basement and he's got his DNA all over the place. <laughs> That's for the first level. Yeah, yeah, for the first level. So, um, But anyway, so they drop you in the room and you basically have no idea what you're supposed to do. It's kind of like mist but, yeah. in that way, right? But Where, you have gloves. So you're not afraid to touch things. Right. Um, you don't even have gloves. You have these like... Because you're dead. That's the other thing, you're dead. Whoa, right? spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> spoiler alert, yeah, you're dead as a doornail, and uh, that, you must remember, nothing that follows will seem miraculous. But, um, 
you have these little things. They look like Vive controllers. They do look like Vive controllers. Right? Um, anyway, you pick stuff up with them, they form some sort of energy shield or something, I don't know, whatever. Um, but yeah, so they, so they drop you in this room and you don't really know what you're supposed to do. And you can like look around, there's some clues, like there's the book and it's got like the pull the candle, which isn't really a clue because as far as I know, pulling that candle doesn't actually do anything. I couldn't find anything to do with pulling it. I pulled that thing like a million times. Uh, so did I, right? I couldn't stop pulling it. I know. <laughs> Um, all, all the books, did you notice like a lot of the books had to do with darkness? Uh, no. They kept like, like every book had something to do with darkness, like hidden in the darkness, hide in the darkness, dead in the darkness, blah, 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 darkness. I totally didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, and all no. that is like a, I a, saw one that a theme like a, going on. Like one looked like a ripoff of Morrowind on the cover. Oh yeah, I saw that one. That yeah. was in the drawer, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then there was another one that was a ripoff of another book. Um, I don't remember what it was now, but anyway, yeah, so they, there's a whole bunch of books. This guy has like triplets of every book in there, right? So, um, but anyway, so you, you basically you got, you got bookshelves, you've got a mattress, you've got pillows, you've got this candle you can pull Let's on. Let's be glad you didn't have like an ultraviolet light for that mattress. Oh, That's I know, I know. Well, but you did later, right? Shh. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler alert, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyway, the you point is... You want to know what he wrote on the walls with. That's what oh, I'm saying. I, oh, <laughs> this is supposed to be family friendly. <laughs> I, I didn't say... I, was, I meant lemons. What oh, you did you? Of? Okay, good. Well, then that's, we'll leave it at that. All right. Um, say make invisible ink. So this... Is it really? Yeah. Hmm, that's Lemon neat to know. It's a good thing to know. Um, so... They drop you in the room. They don't tell you what to do. You got like, there's stuff all over the place. You can interact with almost everything, right? There's I think all the only things you can't pick up and carry around with you are the bookshelves themselves. You can't smash the mirror. That's right. You can't smash the mirror. You can't smash. You can't smash really but anything. I but highly, can, we highly recommend any person actually playing this game to put their head in the mirror. Yes. Stick your head through the mirror. Don't and, tell them what happens. See and see what's going on on the other side of that. And the reason I found that out is because I basically spent an hour walking around this room with no friggin' idea what I was supposed to I'd pulled every book off the shelf, I'd tried to open them, I'd opened every drawer several times, moved the mattress, whatever. Eventually I'm just like, okay, I don't, I, I'm just gonna see if I can step through the wall and see if that gives me any hints or not, right? So I started doing that all over the place and stepping through the wall. And that threw me off even more with the <laughs> stupid candle because you step through the wall and that little grate, there's actually something sticking out of the wall. So I'm like, okay, well this candle must do something. It probably opens that grate and there's something in the grate, but it doesn't. Yeah, but you do open the grate. You do eventually, but it's yeah. nothing to do with the damn candle. That yeah, you can spoiler pull. alert again, sorry. Yeah. So, um, you know yeah, what? If you don't want spoilers, just turn it off right now. Here's the thing, here's the thing. You, you don't want to waste the amount of time that I wasted pulling that damn candlestick, right? So I'm just gonna tell you right now, <laughs> don't even worry about the candlestick, yeah. okay? That's true. Um, anyway, when I found out how to do it, I, I really wanted to kick myself, right? I, I swear there was a glitch in the game so that the solution was not there the first time I yeah, played. Yeah, that, that's, that's probably true. No, I, I was literally on my hands and knees looking under the bookshelves, looking behind the bookshelves. <laughs> like, it, it was like when I lose my wallet at home, right? Yeah. I was like, just tearing the place oh, apart. That, that's, that could be the name of the game. Yeah. Lost your wallet. Lost your wallet. That's VR. a good idea for a good game. Lost your vr lit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Lost your vrawlet. Vrawlet. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so that was only the first level though. Uh, yeah. But there's multiple levels. How many right? levels are there? Do you know? um, as f I know there's four at least. I don't know for sure how many there are. Um, but they're all very different. There's, uh, there's th so there's the dank dirty basement that you start yep. in, right? And then there's like some alien world where there's uh, like, th there's gonna be like this catastrophe, world ending yeah, catastrophe. Yeah, I, I went and I did, I was in that one when we, when yeah, we got and out when of it. I told it was you pretty to cool. Out, yeah, and you look at the window and there's like this comet f flying towards the planet yep. and it's like kind of terrifying, right? So that's pretty cool. I cried. Did you cry All a little night. bit? Yeah. yeah. And the next level, I'm not even really sure what it is, but it's like, I don't know, like, in the middle of a swamp or something, and there's mm -hmm. like, anyway, whatever. Yep. So, so each, price? Price. Uh, the price for this one is $20.99 on Steam. And uh, you gotta think, I don't know. It, if there's a, it depends how many levels there are for me anyway. Yeah. Yeah. If, uh, if you got at least eight levels in there, that'd be worth it. Yeah. I think so, yeah. It depends. And well, and they keep adding levels too, right? So, oh, okay. Um, I think. Anyway, I was sorry. I was I was reading I was reading some of the comments, actually trying to find out how to f 
solved the first room. Uh. <laughs> well, no, anyway, whatever. Um, and and this, uh, things people said on there led me to believe that new levels have been added since oh, okay. it was launched. So maybe they're well, yeah. If they're if they're adding new levels every once in a while, twenty nine nine. Yeah, I gotta say the replay value probably isn't very high. Like once you know no. how to do it, you know how to do it. Right? Yeah, no, so. it'd be it'd be something that's nice to have on the computer though. And if you you know people are coming by and you're like, hey, try out this game. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, and you can jump in and have a good, like, decent length play session each level, and then yep. you know come back and stuff. So yeah, for so that's sure. good for twenty ninety nine. I think yeah, that's a, a yep, I'd pay it. It's pretty good. So all right, so that pretty much wraps up the games that we're going to talk about here. But I'm going to mention one. Um, you haven't played this. I think Seth and I talked about it on one of the shows that we did. Monopoly. Um, <clears throat> not Monopoly. No. Oh. No. It's a game called Never Out, and uh, this game was originally on the Gear VR. Um, and back when I was at VR Giant, I reviewed it, and I, I think I 8.5 out of 10 or something like that, and, and uh, I really, really liked the game. Anyways, it's coming to Rift and Vive on May 19th. We're going to be playing the trailer somewhere around here. I don't know where it's going to end up going, but uh, we'll play the trailer for that so people can see what it's like. It's a really good puzzle game. You're basically, you're in a room, and, uh, you know, you you have to figure out how to get out of the room and when you walk up to a wall and then you take a step towards the wall, the whole room spins and then you're standing on that wall. Also, right? it's like Inception so, uh, kind of deal? Uh, kind of. Do you remember that movie The Cube that we watched in Toronto with, oh, the, my with, yeah, the, with yeah. the cop who's like, I can read you like an F and X-ray, you know, that yep. guy? So anyway, it's basically like that. The rooms are like oh, that, right? Okay. And uh, But just imagine, you know, those holes that they go between the walls? Yep. Yeah. So imagine if you had to figure out how to either fall into one of those holes or walk into one of those holes, right? So, Weird. Um, it's just about getting in holes. It's about getting in holes, yeah. It's okay. a game where you're in a room, you're trying to get it in holes. Uh, anyway, it's really good. Um, it, it looks really good. It was one of the best puzzle Gear VR games, and it holds up just as well on Rift and Vive. Um, and I don't know the price, but he did say it would be under $10. Ooh. So to me, that's that's He's indefinite. speaking my language. Yeah, there you go. So... Uh, so I would say absolutely put it on your wish list. You can search for it right now on Steam or wait till it comes out on Oculus Home. Yep. And, uh, it's and called Whiteout. Ab- never out. Never out. <laughs> and uh, buy it. It's really good. You buy it wa- twice. Yep. And tell them Daryl sent you. Yeah. I don't know who you're going to tell that to, but go ahead and tell them. Tell Steam. Tell Steam? Call them up. Yeah, call Steam. Tell them Daryl said. Or Bearded Dragon. From Daz and Dragons. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Anyways, that about does it for today's show. So, it was good to have you back on the show, Nate. It's good to have you back on the show, Daryl. It was. And I'm glad that your back. funeral went well. I know, right? I thought I was going to die. Yeah. I was like, this is stupid. I had just finished celebrating the fact that I'd made it through the entire winter without getting really sick. And then, bam, it was like the universe heard me and was like, yeah. you know what? Can't have that. Well, they, they got to pull you down before they bring you up. That's right. So now you're just looking forward to lots of great news. That's right. Like never outs coming out, wipeouts coming out, whiteouts coming out, and Game of Thrones festival is coming your way. A Game of Thrones festival is coming my way. That is good news. Exciting stuff. Exciting. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Please hit the like and hit the subscribe down below and uh, share the video everywhere across the interwebs. And if you didn't like the video, like it twice. That's right. That's the only way to uh, to show us how much you hate us is to really hit that like button really exactly. hard. Exactly. All right. Thank you, and we'll see you next week. We love you.